Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. In this episode, we're going to talk about initial exchange offerings, also known as IEOs. Again, doesn't roll off the tongue as like ICOs or IPOs, but we have now IEOs. And the IEOs is a kind of a fairly new thing in 2019, whereas the ICO thing was the 2017 2018 phase. So IEOs have kind of replaced the whole concept of ICOs. So let's we'll get to that in a second. But before we talk about IEOs, Let's just look at what, like for example, the Binance CEO is claiming uh, for his website. He says, here's all the current IEOs. Right now it's May of 2019. Here's all the IEOs that have been listed on Binance so far. There's like nine X returns, two X returns, seven X returns. And if you guys can look in the past charts, January and February were not that great in crypto. It was still kind of a bear market. And he was still providing these massive returns on these cryptocurrencies. Now in the past, exchanges would just let you go in and buy it once the notification came on but now they have kind of a lottery so you hold their exchange token for a certain time and if you get lucky during that time they allow you to invest so it's a you know crazy world we're living in right now but this is one method of doing an ieo again almost every exchange is looking to do initial exchange offerings right now it is a new craze so let's kind of get the rundown on what a IEO is. And this font is kind of small. Let's increase this to like, let's say 20. Can you see this now, guys? All right, so just to cover what this is, let's go one by one so we don't get too confused. It's a direct exchange uh, listing, direct from exchange to investors. Remember, ICOs was uh, a kind of a kind of a bad game to play. You had people, let me just draw this with my mouse, I guess. You had like one company and this could be a really shady company. And you had all these people that were trying to invest in it. And they were like all like trying to fight for the, the best deal. And then some people got it, let's say at like one, at 10 cents. Some people get it at 20 cents. And then it would go on exchanges and claim to be at like 80 cents. Like let's say this is 80 cents. And then when you saw the chart, the, the, let's say this is 80 cents. Initially, you had things going like, oh, it's going up. And it's like, it goes like $2. And then over time, it'll just go towards that like 10 cent amount. And then nowadays, uh, because crypto was going down so much, you would even have moments where it was like, oops, 80 cents here. And then as it came out, um, it would just like go down immediately and then go towards the 10 cent amount. So this is what we want to try to avoid, right? This is because of this thing, this thing going on right here. This thing is what's like killed crypto overall. And let me just get this eraser here. So what is what is the new thing about this is instead of this company going to the investors directly, this company now goes to like Binance, let's say, um, and then Binance will list it for them and then they will then sell it to the investors, right? And then also they'll list their tokens too. So the advantage here is that number one, exchanges are going to choose better projects. They're not going to choose scam projects, but the quality of the exchange matters, right? The second thing is that people don't have to be verified by uh, KYC AML laws. They already are registered with Binance and they have their driver's license, their passports already registered with Binance. So this whole process is quite streamlined right here. Let's just draw a person here as a, as a thing. And as a result of this, uh, I, I got to point out a few things here. There are actually a few things that make this work, maybe in the short term. I don't know how long IOs are going to last, but there's a few things here. Um, they are actually cheaper than the private rounds. So that's actually really interesting. Whereas we showed in the ICO model, you buy it at 10 cents, you hope the exchange is going to list it at a dollar or like 80 cents, something way above. Nowadays, with IEOs, if you bought in at 10 cents, the exchange is going to say like, hey, I'm just going to list it at 5 cents. That way you guys aren't going to dump the price, right? Um, so Binance and a lot of these other exchanges are listing these cheaper than what the private round investors gotten. And it's caused a lot of fury around the private round people, of course. Um, but that's just how it is now. And it, might, it actually might be hurtful for the future of crypto because it's going to be harder to get funding as a seed round company or seed round startup, right? The other thing is there's a limited supply to sell. So when they have, let's say, 100% of the tokens out there, they may only sell like 10% of them or 20% of them. We don't know. The other thing is 
the amount that's available that's in the in, in you know basically being traded is also low so less than five percent of the available tokens are out there to be even sold back so that is what what is else is keeping these prices up and some of these projects i don't even know where my mouse is some of these projects have uh, over-the-counter buybacks they will buy back their supply to actually get this deal like get the supply off the market to sell so is the private round over it, I think it might be, to be, to be honest. Uh, even the era of exchange listings is kind of over. Basically, we used to have like ICOs being listed randomly. This is kind of like fading away. All the hype right now is around these IEOs. Um, now, let's take a look at what you guys should be looking for. To be honest, the ICO video, how to evaluate ICOs still applies here. The only things you want to look at now, of course, the quality of projects, which is what we go over in the ICO reviews the quality of the exchange. Remember, if it's a small exchange, it might not have as good of a listing for an IEO. Uh, for example, Huobi, Binance, they usually choose really good ones and they, they also don't list very often. Uh, one thing I should have probably mentioned here is, oh wow, there's like no room to type. Uh, don't They don't list things often. So it's like usually once a month. Okay, and then also the total supply flow. But this is what we just talked about, how much is circulating right now, right? If there's too many coins circulating, it's going to cause a huge price dump. You can see that happening with Reserve, uh, not Reserve, Thunder. Thunder had all their private rounds already given out, so it behaved just like a normal ICO did. It listed, was up like to $0.07, cents, I believe, and it went all the way to like below $0.02, cents, uh, which was the private round too. So again, that, that will happen if uh, this, there's too much supply out there. So that's something to keep a uh, look out over. Uh, the other thing is token release schedule. So with the tokens uh, to the private investors that are still out there, they're gonna give those money that money back eventually. And you should be aware of when those investors get their money back because that is what causes that huge dip uh, during those like ICO era dips. And even the IEO era will still have dips as a result. So be careful of that. Um, and then, of course, always look at what the price of the token is and what the total market capitalization is. If the whole project is worth billions of dollars, it may not be high upside on that. You don't want it's harder to turn one billion dollars of something into two billion versus like ten million dollars of something into 20 million or it goes to 100 million. Right. Who knows? So these are the things to look for. Uh, I just had something I wanted to mention in my head. What was it? What was it supposed to be? Uh, okay. Oh, the strategy. The strategy <laughs> is as these things keep going, if IEOs continue to sustain this ridiculous price momentum, the strategy is to get in early, which is pretty much that one round, and then sell uh, quickly the moment of listing. And the reason why is because we are st we are starting to see that uh, pattern where you have the exchange. It, it comes out. It goes up. And then it kind of goes somewhere and then it kind of over time will keep going lower and lower until the private round comes. And you might even see things like, uh, let me just draw this over here. You might even see something that goes up and it actually keeps going up. And then token release comes for the private round. Boom. And then it comes back, keeps going. Then another token release and it keeps going up. So you might see some of these like charts as well. Uh, wouldn't be surprised at all to see these kind of charts. So just remember you want to sell at either this time or around or like worst case you sell at this time, right? You sell it when it's going up. You kind of miss out on some gains right here, but you just want to avoid that private round release. Okay. So that is mainly the strategy with IEOs or initial exchange offerings. Please note, some of these exchanges have restrictions for people in certain countries. So always check which are available to you. Uh, like for example, Binance doesn't allow United States. And again, who knows how long this is gonna last. Maybe there will be some regulatory action to take the, take IEOs down and this video will be obsolete. Uh, but again, crypto moves really fast in this world, but this is something to be really aware of right now. This is the it thing in the crypto world. So. That is all for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us in the chat. We'll always uh, be around. Hopefully our community will be around to help you out. Thank you.